there's a number of things that we do. Uh, one, we start with our people. We want to ensure that our people are certified in the in the correct technologies. Um, continuing to do that through different Microsoft products, our uh, our vendor partners, along with uh, you know frameworks like ITIL. The one thing that we do as an organization, though, is we actually want to ensure that the entire organization is certified. And so what we do is uh, we lean into something called a SOC 2 Type 2. And this is a uh, certification that helps ensure that as a service provider, we're doing what we say. It's some third party that comes in and audits to say all the policies, procedures, the training that we do with our staff is happening. And we then get scored on that and we get validated to ensure that we are adhering to those things. But I'm not done there. I think what's important is that we continue to drive into other frameworks. Um, one of the things that we want to see happen uh, in the next coming year is ISO 27001, which is a global standard around information security. What I think is really important is that the MSP community or the MSSP community starts to embrace these. Often we're, we're seeing um, trusted organizations don't have the credentials to effectively be that in the market. And so sometimes they're pushing your hand to their skis a little bit, not because they're you know malicious in nature, but I think what's important is that we're continuing to embrace these types of standards and frameworks because it helps validate, it helps legitimize our occupation and uh, the industry at large. The IT community is not governed. And this is um, something that we need to change. Um, the governance that exists within the industry is ruled by best practices, which is unfortunate because there's always 50 ways to do the same thing. And often business owners or IT leaders are left wondering when there's a breach or or there's a, uh, an event that occurs where there's significant downtime that impacts the productivity. And when you hear about you know, a, a data breach occurring, small or medium organizations can go out of business within six months. And we see a staggering stat of over 50% of organizations that have a significant breach do happen. So you start to think about that the productivity of those employees where they can no longer work in that organization because the IT department or service provider let them down because they expected them to be at a certain level and they weren't. We often find that this industry at large just needs to elevate, elevate to ensuring that we're doing the right things at the right times and making sure that we do what we say.